I've had a lot of questions from fellow VIP kid teachers asking me how I use Minicam in the classroom, how I manage my screens, and how I prepare for the day. So today I will be showing you all of that. To start with, my classroom browser is at a 65% zoom. This gives me enough room to have a floating sticky where I take notes on the students, and it gives me enough room to bring up the Minicam window as I offer rewards and as I put up text while I can still see the student's face. Very quickly here you'll see examples of how I offer rewards, how I delete the rewards, and how I take notes and put up text while having all the windows on the screen at the same time. Here goes. Yes, Harris, very good. That's another banana. How many bananas? Three bananas mean one, one star. Yes, very good job, Harris. Eat the bananas. <laughs> yes, very good job, Harris. Is my sister. Yes, this is my sister. Good. Watch. Remember, this has more. Remember. <gasps> Which has more? Which has more? Yes, this has more. Great, so after that, I type in my feedback that I've written on my sticky notes um, in sentence form and without any grammatical errors like I have in the sticky notes. And once I've completed that, then I put all of my running feedback into pages documents. And I do that so I can keep track of the students that are non-regulars that turn into regulars. I can keep track of what I said last week. Um, this is my non-regulars file, but I have a file for each of my regular students so I know you know, what, what worked last week, what didn't work, what we talked about last week. Um, sometimes I forget, so that's a good thing for me to keep in mind. And I also keep the feedback that I send out to the other teachers if they use any other teachers, and then I'm done. I've shown you a lot of different features in this video. I have a video on the rewards feature, but I've also shown you the text feature, and I have a video coming out on that really soon, so stay tuned for that. The way I keep everything on my screen and the way I track feedback might not be exactly what works for you. I know that some people have multiple screens. To have everything on their screens at the same time, that's a great option. That's something that I used to do. I just don't have room for it right now. I just wanted to show you that if you're in a limited amount of space, you can still get Minicam to work for you. Thanks so much for watching.